I'm going to wait a couple of minutes more before we start the session for any last minute participants who will be joining us. This session is going to be very easy, beginner friendly. Um, any kid can easily follow along and even adults who would like to just unwind, do some fun art and uh, have a relaxing time. Uh, we conduct these art lessons for free every Thursday, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So feel free to join us every Thursday for a free art lesson. We're going to be using, starting with um, a dark blue, um, some purple, blue, light blue and white. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the chat section and I'll address them as we move along. All right, so we're going to start with making a circular shape in the center. You can use uh, any lid cup. I'm just going to use my tape here to do that. You can do it freehand as well. So I'm just going to draw a circular shape here, which is going to be our moon. And then we'll be painting a night sky. Please ensure you do this uh, with very light strokes. You don't want the pencil to show through when, when you paint. I will be painting this with white now. I'm using a very flat brush and uh, using acrylic paints for this. Uh, I use 300 GSM watercolor paper for all my artwork. Um, this ensures that the paper is thick. It doesn't wrinkle or tear when I layer over them with the acrylic paints. You are free to use any paper you want, but uh, make sure that if you are not using thick paper, do not go over it several times, otherwise it may tear. I will be leaving a link to all the art materials that uh, I generally use in these art lessons. It'll help you with the, and there are Amazon links as well, and that can help you have an idea of what materials generally are recommended for your art journey. So just gone over this with white. I'm going to add a tinge of light blue to this. I'm going to now go create my night sky. For that, I'm taking a thick flat brush and using light blue. I mixed a tinge of my darker blue in that. I'm just going to go over in circular patterns like this.
For those who joined late, my name is Pooja. I'm the virtual art instructor for Palak Studio Inc. If you have any questions, uh, any you need any help, please uh, feel free to leave those in the chat section and I'll try my best to address them. The consistency of paint that you use should be just right. It shouldn't be too thick, otherwise it'll look cakey and it shouldn't be too watery as well. So if you see any white patches, that means that the paint is a bit too runny. Just added a little bit of dark blue and creating that second circular shape. For our night sky, we will be blending this all. I'm gonna take a bit of white paint and just blend it. That way the two layers seem to merge into one another and doesn't look like two distinct layers. I just shared the link uh, in the chat section for all the art materials that I generally recommend using. I hope they're useful. There's also a link to donate. It helps us keep up these free lessons every Thursday. There is a link for a Google review as well. So if you like this session and have a good time, please do leave me a Google review at the end of the session. I'm going to take some light blue now again and just again going to go over this. And be just adding a hint of purple here. Okay. 
if you're using a flat brush like mine, try to hold it at an angle and do this step so that you get that nice line effect. I'm using my dark blue to create these lines. If you've gone too close to your moon or you feel that the shape is no longer circular, you can use a tiny, a thin brush and just fill in those spaces. All right, I'm going to now go over the last portion of my painting here and fill in this section with some more blue, dark blue. Feel free to add blend the way you want it to. We are just creating a night sky. So pretty much use your, you can use your imagination and just add some of those blue, purple, light blue tinges. Remember to blend them out at each stage. You don't want a layer of blue and then a layer of purple. We don't want it that distinct. I'm just going to add a little bit of light blue here. If you see any white patches anywhere, just go over them with paint. It means that your, 
you've not used enough paint or your paint was too runny. So make sure that your consistency is right, not too thick or thin. I've left this section blank here because I'm going to be using black to create a landscape structure there. So it doesn't matter, you don't have to fill it all in. If anybody has any questions, please let me know in the chat section. And I can try my best to help you out.
I'm just creating some fine strokes here with my very thin brush. You can do your own thing. You can do a flower. You can do some grass. Just make sure that you've not used a lot of paint and you keep your strokes very fine. I hope everyone is being able to follow. If you have any difficulty following the steps, uh, the session is being recorded and will be posted shortly on our YouTube channel on Palak Studio Inc. as well as the website. So if you've joined late or are finding it difficult to follow along, you can revisit the video later. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next step, which is going to be creating a tree, a silhouette of a tree at the top. I'm just going to draw out my tree branches here. I will be outlining it in black shortly so that you can view it easier. Viewing it will be easier then. I'm just going to go over that with black paint so that you can view it easily. I'm just creating the outline here. You can go over and make your own tree. I'm going to go ahead and now fill in this
You can do another branch here, or you can leave it the way it is. Just going to go and add another branch here. I'm now going to start adding my next element, which is going to be a swing. So you can use the scale for this, or you can just do it freehand. I'm just going to add a line here for the swing. And I'm going to be doing the silhouette of a girl. Very simple. As I mentioned before, this class is supposed to be beginner friendly. So we are going to do this, you know, use the simplest techniques in this class. I, we do conduct advanced art classes as well. And uh, you can use my link that I shared in the chat section if you're interested in knowing more about these advanced lessons.
you can use a ruler to just make the chord this the string part of the the row part of the uh, swing. And then use your narrow brush. And very carefully make that straight line. If you have any elements that you'd like to add to your painting, please feel free to go ahead and make it some unique creation of your own. You can add some flowers or anything that you'd like. You can make some birds flying around or an owl on the tree. I'm going to be adding a cat, uh, the silhouette of a cat to finish off this painting. I hope this has been easy to follow and I look forward to seeing all your completed artworks at the end of the session. If you've been enjoying the class and finding it easy, please do leave me that Google review. The link has been shared in the chat section. It really helps me and others who would like to come to these online classes. Okay, I'm going to add the cat now. Again, a very simple cat silhouette. Just adding a furry tail at the end.
I will be finishing off this painting with creating some starry night effect. For this, I just need you to take some white and put um, water in it. It shouldn't be too runny. We don't need big specks. Now there are two ways of doing this. One is you use a brush, dip it in your watery white paint and then just tap. Now you need to make sure that you don't have big blobs of paint falling on your painting. Another method is using the back of your brush. So you could use this pointed tip at the back of your brush, dip it in your white paint and just make some dots. you've completed your sky starry sky that will be the end of the painting once you're done with your painting please do hold them up for me to see and i'd love to see all your work ruby that's beautiful i love your sky That's lovely, Ruby's mom. Kathy, that's really nice. Great work. Samson SMT733, great work. The blue is really beautiful. Zarmina, that's lovely. Evelyn, that's really nice. I love your sky. Daniel, lovely swing. Great work. Snehashish, that's beautiful. Great job. Very neat. Zermina, that's great work. Virginia, that's amazing. Thank you for joining. Bye, Virginia. Rasika, that's great. Very neat work. That's amazing. Galaxy J7 Max, uh, lovely blending. I love the sky. The circular effect is really nice. Galaxy tab, great job. iPad 6, great work. Galaxy tab A, that's really lovely. Beautiful work. Thank you for joining.
if any of you haven't been able to ca uh, catch up with me, the recorded session will be posted on the site and the YouTube channel as well. So you can catch up there later. I will be around for 10 minutes more. So if any of you want to show me your work or would just like to continue painting, that's completely okay. Zoom user, that's great. <laughs> 